Hi guys, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny. You can still find me on Twitter at Manny Photo. And today I want to show you guys some easy and some very simple brush effects. Now, if you're an advanced Photoshopper, this might be very super boring and you might know about these tricks already. But if you're a newbie to intermediate, this might be the tutorial for you. I'm basically showing today how you can add a smoke effect to your image, either with brushes or with a high quality image. So let's get started. Okay, so for adding some high quality smoke effect to your image, we have two options. Either we can work with high quality smoke brushes or you can go out and shoot your own image with also having just smoke in here. So as you guys can see over here, pure white smoke and a pure black background. So very simple to shoot this. Also try to just get your background from a back, sorry, your smoke very backlit and have your background completely black. Maybe shoot in a big room so you can easily fade your background into blackness or into very darkness. Okay, this image is also not my image. I pulled this from the web so it's not super high quality but it will work for today's tutorial. Okay, so let's get started now with our first brush effect over here. I'm just going to press F and make my screen nice and full screen. And I'm going to go first of all and create a new layer down here. So let's open a new layer. I'm just going to type in here smoke and maybe also brush. So I know it's my smoky brush effects. And we can hit our B for brush. And now we're going to go open our preferences or actually our presets here for our brush. And in here we do have different brush uh, effects now. So all of these brushes here, I've actually downloaded them from the web. Just type into Google, you're looking for brush, uh, Photoshop brushes, and you'll find loads of awesome websites with brushes. Okay, let's go all the way down. I've got some wings here and wind and some flare effects, some light effects, and somewhere down here... I have some splashes and at the bottom I do have some smoke. So over here as you guys can see I have loads of different smoke effects. Let's also maybe select one over here, 764. I can still adjust my size and my hardness is pretty set. So over here I can now see what this effect looks like or this brush. Let's type tap it once. Okay, this is on a very low opacity as you guys can see over here, 10% opacity. So that's why we're not seeing any effects yet. Let's just go back in our history panel here to name change and we still have our brush. Let's take our opacity all the way up to 100%. If I'm going to tap now, you'll see we have a new brush over here. Okay, so then again I can still move my layer around and as you guys can see it's a very nice high quality smoke effect. And now I want to merge it in so it's kind of looking like the smoke is coming out of the pipe here. So I can do a few options with that. I can press Command T and rotate this a little bit and obviously move that into the nice or into the direction I wanted to. And this is kind of looking great already. I'm not getting too much smoke on his face. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. So let's use this brush. Okay, I'm going to place it over here somewhere. I can still also hold my anchor points here left and right and hold Shift and obviously scale this. But I'm not going to scale it too much, so let's press Command T again, rotate this, move it up again. I'm going to rotate a little bit more and kind of looking where it's getting in here at the bottom already. So let's move this a little bit further and rotate this again and just place it over here. So we have a nice hole here as well and still not losing too much of his face. Maybe move it in a little bit, rotate a little bit more. Okay, that's looking a bit better. Okay, so I'm going to accept this now. And we have to work a little bit now on our brush effect on the smoke here, just to fade it in a little bit here at the top and also at the bottom, obviously. Okay, so for that, what I'm going to do is go and create a mask here on my smoke brush. So just hit the mask icon over here. We have new a new mask over here and I'm going to go back to my brushes now. So select brush again. I'm going to go back into my brush effects here and I'm just going to go and choose my old brush again. So all the way to the top. I'm going to select the normal brush. Okay, I'm going to tap here once into my image and I can actually just go back a step so I wouldn't have affected this. Okay, now my normal trick that I do, Control alt I'm just feathering this. So it's just a quicker way for me to feather stuff. Okay, feather, put the hardness maybe to 10% of my brush and also I'm going to just move and make my brush a little bit smaller. Again, hold Control alt and just move your brush or your mouse left and right or up and down for the hardness. Okay, a little bit down. 
Okay, so something like that. Now I don't want to work on 100% opacity. I actually want to work maybe around 20 to 50 percent. So I'm going to take it down. Let's start at 30, somewhere in between. Okay, and we obviously also have to change our foreground colors to black because we are working on a white mask. Okay, so you do see this hard edge over here. I just want to fade this a little bit away, but I don't want to kill all of the smoke. So let's maybe also take our opacity to 17. And then I'm just tapping again, not brushing. Just tap, tap, tap away. You can maybe hear my board here as I'm tapping around. So I'm just tapping a little bit. Also here at the top a little bit. So it's just getting a little bit less, okay, as well over here. And now obviously if you go more into photography, it, if you have light also coming from just one side as I have over here, just with a beauty dish straight on, you would most probably not even have the smoke this strong. You would have to have another light from this side or the back and you have to get it also backlit. So what I'm going to do is take my opacity down just a little bit, just a little smidgen to say 80%, 85%. Okay, tap a little bit more with my brush here. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with this so far. So obviously a very nice brush. Let's also now go select again the mask here. Also take our opacity all the way up to 100%. And I'm going to press Control Alt again to completely change my featherness up to 85 or say 90%. Make it a little bit smaller. And now I want to brush out this area over here. Obviously the smoke wouldn't be in front of it, so we have to get rid of this a little bit. So I'm just going to brush over here. We can also zoom a little bit closer. So press B again for brush. I also zoomed with Z now, and I'm just trying to break this a little bit so the smoke is coming directly out of this. But now it's still a little bit hard in here. So I'm going to press Ctrl Alt again, feather my brush again completely, say around 20%, somewhere around there. Taking my opacity also just to 10%, you can also press 1 on the keyboard. And then I'm just tapping again a little bit, not with my center of my brush, just a little bit with the outside. So as you will see the white spot now, so I'm basically using the brush like this, tap, 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 tap. I'm not brushing like this. So try to tap with the outside because it's obviously feathered. Okay, so a little bit, a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, and as you guys can see now it's getting we're getting a little bit more of that darkness from the background through. So a little bit more. Okay, tap tap tap, that's enough already. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. And that's my quick effect already. So over here, just with a normal layer and a mask, we have already a complete smoke effect on here. And obviously this is also taste again. You can choose different brushes, different smoke effects to make it a little bit more or a little bit less. Then as well, I do want to show you guys how to do this with your own image. So press F again, get out of the full screen mode. We're going to take out the other canvas over here, which is basically our second image. I'm just going to double tap on here. Press OK, so we unlock this, move it over here into our image. We can take this canvas now and just say don't save, we don't need that anymore. I'm going to press F again, full screen mode. And now over here we have our second brush. We can yet again just rename this to Smoke Image. Okay, and we can move this around. And there we have our normal image in here ready. So now we want to get rid of the black background. So one tip again, everything that is pure black here will fade away if you change blending options. So let's go to our layer blending options here and change that first of all to Lighten. And we can have a look, that doesn't work too good. So I'm not really happy with that effect. Let's also go to screen and that is looking way better already. So with screen you can take out loads of uh, blacks and that works pretty nice. Okay, so let's move this also. So again, command T. We can rotate this again and we can also place this again on top of our model. So as I showed you guys before, this brush or this image here has also a little bit of a hole so I can actually place this in here as well. And I'm pretty much doing exactly the same now. I'm also going to accept this and also going to create a mask on this, a white mask. Take my brush again and also make this a little bit feathered again. Control Alt. Let's see our featherness is still set to around 30%, 31%. And also at a 10% opacity here at the top. Let's maybe make that up a little bit higher, 20%. And now I'm again tap, 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 just brushing through here, just breaking those edges a little bit and making it a little bit nicer. Okay, also at the bottom. And then again, Control alt feather this completely away so the hardness is set to 98%. Make it a little bit smaller here. 
black foreground color and we're just painting this away oh our opacity is still on 19 so let's take that up to 100 as well I'm gonna zoom in a little bit take my brush again and just painting over here until to the edge and we're gonna do exactly the same effect again control alt feather your brush say around 20 percent make it a little bit smaller take your opacity of 1 or 20 percent opacity and we're just gonna tap 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 fade this out a little bit so it's pretty much the same effect as you would work with a brush it's just quicker with a brush because you already don't need to have your layer or your image here with changing the blending options and so on etc etc you guys know the deal by now so obviously having this effect with just your normal image or you can also have a brush and then still change the opacity if you want to have it stronger a bit lighter that all depends on your own taste so over here as well you can also take down the opacity a little bit more or less yeah that's all your own taste okay so that was my quick tutorial just showing you guys those two effects how to add smoke you can obviously apply this also with the sky and with clouds and stuff so give it a try try it out and if you're searching for those uh, brush effects just go online have a look for brush uh, photoshop brushes and you'll find loads of sites okay that's all from me today give me a like support me with a like leave a comment if you have any questions still and don't forget to subscribe see you next week in a new tutorial Bye!